Hey everyone, so when you, or if you watched my stream last Saturday, you know that I tried um, capping Clash of Worlds with a fire team. So I just did a test run, as you can see, it capped super, super comfortably. Uh, let me just fix one thing, because for some reason I didn't save my last equipment uh, pieces so barrage is missing for some reason but fixed um i'll show the gear once we're done if you watch my stream you probably know it already i just switched around a few things you'll see it once we're done so let's get straight into it and a gearing etc once we're done but let's get it done first i just did i believe three billion or so and most of it was from sky <laughs> To nobody's surprise. Okay, so as usual, everyone's sleeping. Charm. Let's shift best boy back. No, not that ability. Kind protector, loyal hearts, inspiration, Kresnik, stimulant, Burda, rousing, Perno, and demise. Jeez Louise, Earthbreaker, Lara Barrage, taking a sweet, sweet time, and Sky Limits in Brave, obviously. Okay, so the, the strat is pretty much like for like, there is nothing really that I changed. So we're still using Ninja Edge TMR, we're still using Tulian TMR, still dispelling on turn 3, nothing really changed other than waiting for something to happen because Barrage is the worst, the absolute worst, I hate Barrage. And honestly, I did just Oh, on the previous turn, I just did what it's what's the same triple hot shot. It was the same morale game, so might as well not use barrage instead. So with me dealing three billion damage, I probably don't even need to care about two hundred percent morale now. But. You know what was my mistake last time I um, attempted this on Saturday? Sky was still on Esther's STMR and well, there is no greatsword in peril. So to be honest, we could have kept this on Saturday already had I known that Sky was not on a, uh, a spear. Yeah, probably. Oh well, but it's easier to say this enough uh, right now. Sky is not on guts though, so that's the only RNG factor in all of this. But honestly, even if Sky dies, the boss isn't much of an issue. So Siphon, but first Chao Protector, Loyal True Guardian, Burda Base and LB, Jeez Louise uh, in cap, will do. Arsenal, Firepower and Blaster, Lara, Barrage and Sky Limit. Alright, let's imbue everyone and the boss. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so boring. <sighs> okay, 140. As long as I'm at 144 or so on turn 3, it'll be Gucci, Tamaguchi even.
child offs basically no HP but there was no gravity attack so that's to be expected here it comes oh by the way I'm planning on doing a fun clear with Knights of Grand Shout Vision card if I am getting Knights of Grand Shout Vision card um, because if if it comes if, if push comes to shove and I need to wait for the um, VIP VIP coin shards well I can't make the video but the goal is to make a video of Sky Solo capping this fight and it's pr probably possible I Unless my math failed me, Sky can solo cap this boss. But yeah, you need the um, the ring from Clash, you need the chain cap ring, you would use the uh, static attack close, the static attack helm, and the Knights of, uh, of Grand Shield card on her. You still cap everything, 300, 300, 300, and she gain uh, she's about 11k attack, which is crazy. Sky with 11,000 attack is just madness, honestly. Um, right, let's barrage again, we are brave shifting, aren't we? Let's check my turn chart, yes we are, fire start, I am neutralizing, disarming ionic, burda, raw mega breath, and mystic breath, chow limits, Tresnik limits and yeah oh yeah I was waiting for why does the morale bar not move but it's Lara all over again Mm -hmm. Why is Barrage so efficient? 162 by turn 3. Phew, boy! Oh well. There it goes. That wasn't that many attacks, so maybe we won't be getting into 200 morale. Doesn't the boss usually do way more attacks? He didn't even break Chao's uh, shield. Uh -oh. I have a bad feeling about this, but eh, whatever. Capping morale score is not an issue. I don't know for sure. <sighs> I mean, there isn't really much to say. So we're just sitting here. <laughs> Silence. Waiting for Chow to finish. Okay, 200% morale is safe now. Um, maybe I should talk about banners. Or the Knights of Grandchild plus Renoa banner. I don't know. Jeez. Calm down. We've already done enough. I'm at 200% morale regardless. Stop. Thank you. Okay, um, Choke and Guard, but I don't know for sure. Bird of Brave Shifts, we still need the Spear and Peril on the boss. Oh, not quadruple. Rousing, support from the skies, and Dragoon's Aim. So there it is, Morales at max. Already. 
Nope, not that. And we'll do Numbing Thunderbird, which is Edges, Tiamar, Kresnik is going to um, Medicinal, Medic, uh, Potion, Remedy, Antioxidant. Lara shifts and does Queen of the Jungle, or Jungle. Human Killer buff for herself. Sky back to base for Tyvus's spirit. Easy 200% morale. Oh, ciao. Don't disappoint me. Okay, he's fine. Good boy. Good boy. Would have been weird to die against 85% breaks. <sighs> so now, our capping turn. Again, I did 3 billion last time. I'm expecting to be just as good. Sky is most likely dead after this turn because she does not have any guts whatsoever. She needs to evade twice in a row, which, yeah, not gonna happen, bro. That's like 50, uh, two 50% chances, meaning 25% chance of her actually dodging, uh, surviving this. Not happening, bro. But honestly, I could probably sacrifice a bit DPS by having 250 LB instead of 300 just to have her guts at least one attack. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Alright, so sky limit. Of course the sky is the limit. Uh, Chow limit and uh, shift and limit. Burda base formed quad stuff. No, not inferno breath. Quad mystic breath, please. Lara volatile. Louis is going to disarm, disarm, neutralizing nano. Come on, Fresnik. Kresnik is going to Scarlet Wave, which is Leftias TMR. Okay, so we'll start with the right hand side. Chow takes ages anyway, and then follow up with the right hand side once the chain is built nicely. So let's start. And set. Two point seven. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine with that. We capped. So let's see if the sky survives. Six. Miss. Ah, sky died. Oh well. It is what it is. So full life on sky. Medicinal potion and Medicinal Mastery. Uh, Chao goes back to base. Kind Protector. Most of Loyal Hearts. Focused Inspiration. Louise goes back to base and does Earthbreaker because we need to break attack Again, there we go. Roberta is going to Raw Inferno and Ignatas's Domain. We'll do a 400% step off to defense. And Lara is going to Explosive and Hotshot.
Okay. Oh, it's Flash Reap. Easy. Yeah, the boss has two different attack patterns. If he does Flash Reap, it's a free win turn, as you can see. Well, still not super easy, but yeah. He's not that dangerous anymore. And if he does um, Soul something something, it's uh, a bit tricky. Let's call it that way. Absolute BS it is what it is. All right, Sky, you shift. Alara shifts and volatiles. Roberta is going to Mega Breath and Double Mystic Breath. And we'll do Fire Starter, Power Boost, Diverse Arsenal, and um, is that General Mitigation? No. So we'll do that one. Chow can Guard, yeah. Uh, remove breaks. I hope I did. I did. Okay. And we'll support chain with Cressnick, I suppose. Yeah. Let's do attack magic buffs. <clears throat> We're starting with Birda and send in a left right hand side. Set. Oh yeah. So if Chow survives, we won easily. And it's do we get lucky, yeah, it's flash reap, so we most likely won. Oh he still gets hit very hard. All right, we won. Okay. And that's with Sky dying once. So, oh, that was no trouble at all. Fire team is actually really, really easy, as you can see. So even going full brute force, it works. It just works. So is the Spear and Peril still on? It certainly is. Last turn of Spear and Peril. Let's make this very nice and dandy for Lara as well. She's gonna benefit from the uh, Gun and Peril as well. So disarming, disarming, neutralizing Nano. And because we are starting with the left hand side, all is going to be very well. So guarding Chao, he has, he's done, he did well. Cressnake, Scarlet Wave, Queen of the Jungle, Limit Burst, and yeah, we won. And here it comes. So when looking at the DPS chart right now, or soon, you have to keep in mind, Sky died once, she had to restack, reset her stacks, which is going to lower her damage, obviously. There we go. Easy. And even though Sky died once, she did the most damage. <laughs> it's crazy how strong Sky is. It's, I don't know. She's amazing. So yeah, there we go. 1.3 billion on Birda. Looking good. Louise did some chip damage as well, but it's literally all Sky and uh, Lara. 
And keep in mind, Sky died. Alright. Nothing good again. Too bad. So let's check out the gear, because the gear is probably what you guys are interested in the most. So Chao has absolutely no changes from my first clear. It's all the same. Not a single change was made. Uh, Roberta, not a single change was made. There we go. Uh, Louise, some DPS stuff, um, crown for morale gain. What's really important is Tulian's TMR Earthbreaker and Ninja Edge's TMR Numbing Thunderbind. Um, those are very handy to have. You could also just use Axe Star's TMR or uh, President Reagan's TMR. Both are fine as well. Just have two of those. Uh, own vision card, brave shift, DPS stuff all around with one guts stack, which was enough. Oh, by the way, uh, Roberta, I forgot to show, she is now at 300 300 Reaper human. So I switched around some killers, so sorry that wasn't exactly the same gearing as always. She now has 300 300 Reaper human killer. Uh, part of it being that she is on uh, Diabolos now. So um, Louise is also 300 human, 300 Reaper, which is nice. Uh, Kresnik, the only difference is that he's on Scarlet Wave instead of um, uh, Extreme Nova frames. Scarlet Wave being Leftia's TMR for Bolting Strike frames. So that's nice. Still using Sephiroth's card because why not? You don't need this. It's probably 10, uh, 100,000 more damage, which did not matter one bit. It's just for showing off, basically, that I have this card twice. And now I will farm downwards for that comment. Uh, anyway, this is his Brave Shift. Again, just regular stuff. Lara Croft wears a nice weapon because the boss is weak to ice, so she can always, no matter the situation, whether she died or not, she could have um, sealed the boss. But she was imbued with fire, so that's fine. Uh, barrage, you don't need barrage, honestly. It just prolongs the fight. Own vision card. And Brave Shift, gun build. She's using um, <coughs> the chain cap ring, which makes gearing her a lot easier. And she too sports 300 human, 300 reaper, which is super cool. And lastly... Uh, sky, obsidian bracers, which is important. <coughs> Farm it from storyline. Don't be lazy. Rest of the gear. Isn't that important? Tyvus's STMR is very handy to have, uh, but you won't necessarily need it. <coughs> She's on Sephiroth's car too, so if you only have one, give it to Sky, obviously. And yeah, Brave Shift, Kane's Lance for the Spear and Peril, Yuna's Necklace, Riser Crown, etc., etc. So she is at 300 human, 300 reaper, 300 LP. The good stuff. So there you have it. Um, it actually didn't take me that long to make this work. It was just switching around gears and that's it. The rest was exactly the same as I did in my uh, stream. Too bad I didn't realize Sky was on the wrong weapon. We could have ended on a high note on the stream, but so be it. There you have it, fire team. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the Monday evening, afternoon, morning, also, wherever you're from. And we'll see each other, well, put Thursday, definitely. But if you're looking for more Clash of Worlds content, there is still my cheap guide, which is coming on potentially Saturday. I won't be having time for that uh, tomorrow, neither on Thursday and definitely not on Friday. So Sunday, uh, Saturday is when I'll do the cheap guide. For this if it works i haven't even begun testing it yet so at the earliest saturday if it doesn't work i'll make a community post and farm downloads thank you all goodbye